in today's video i'm just going to be sharing with you the new mac os monterey beta 2. so this update actually came came with a size of 3.3 gigabytes and it actually was able to just update very quickly and this was one kind of shocking updates i've ever made on this macbook because sometimes i do get about two hours or one hour update time but with this i just had about five minutes to just get everything done so i decided to just screenshot it so that you guys would see the time i had right here before i got everything done and if you're about to update this you're going to see an update size between 2.8 to 3.3 gig depending on the software update you're coming from so the first feature or changes i want to share with you guys is in the wallpapers and then screensaver so when you go to your system preference and then you go to your wallpapers and then screensaver you're gonna see that there are new wallpapers that have been added to this one right here and that is the new IMAX wallpapers right here so when I tap on it and then change it you're gonna see that it's gonna change in between the wallpapers that have been added so it comes up from this side to this side and that is basically very cool this is one of the coolest wallpapers i was actually waiting for so this is actually the wallpapers for the new imax and also when you tap on screen saver you are going to see we have the new hello right here and it's basically very cool you can now even preview it right here before you even want to just tap on it in order to just make it your screen saver you feel like you want so this is it right here and it changes as time goes on when you even try to put it on your macbook so these are the changes you're going to see when you go to wallpapers and then screen savers so another thing which was sorted out here is restarts initially when you try restarting your machine it was actually going to take time in order to restart it but with this mac os monterey beta 2 it actually takes about 30 seconds in order to restart it but initially it used to be around one to two minutes in order to just get everything restarted but now the restart time has been able to be sorted and everything is very cool and one problem we also had in mac os 12 beta 1 was with vpn so when you try turning on your vpn right here and you actually want to use your wi-fi or something immediately you turn on your vpn your wi-fi decides to just deactivate or it will be on and it still wouldn't be able to just allow you to connect anything or your internet will just mess up and nothing will work out here so with this new mac os beta it's been sorted and you're now going to be able to just connect your vpn with no problems and that is basically very cool another thing i also like right here is the new facetime share play so in beta one share play wasn't activated but now it's been activated in beta two so what is share play share play is actually trying to share your screen right here or anything on your screen or anything you decide to share probably maybe you're watching a movie and you want to watch with your friends on facetime you can just do it and then when you just go on facetime and you probably start your facetime call you're going to be able to just tap on this side right here this screen right here and then when you tap on the screen there's going to be pop-ups which is actually going to make you share your screen you have here with your friends and it's basically going to make them see anything you are actually watching on your screens on their iphones or macbooks and that is basically very cool i think that is one of the features apple has added which is very very cool and in beta one this side wasn't really working so you were not going to be able to even get to this side in order to just allow people to watch whatever you are doing on your screen so you can see i've been able to just get to this side but i don't have any person invited right here so no one is watching whatever i'm doing right here and i think this is one of the features that is really going to blow your mind up in this new mac os the new thing i also saw right here in this new mac os was in maps when you check out right here you can see that our maps icon is being changed right here and that is one of the new thing we also saw right here and again what we also saw was the splash screen right here when you try to open your notes you're going to see the splash screen right here and that is going to tell you what you are going to see in the notes app and basically that is very very cool another thing we saw right here was in finder so when you go to finder and then you actually check out right here in iCloud so you can see that you are now entitled to see whatever you've shared to iCloud right here and initially this wasn't present right here but this is actually very cool and it's gonna help us with a lot of good stuff because now you can just take note of whatever you've shared to people to iCloud right here and that is basically very cool so if in case maybe you share your stuff to iCloud on your iPhone or something and you sync it with your MacBook you're gonna be able to see whatever you've shared right here immediately you tap on this side and then you go to your shared folder you're gonna be able to see whatever you shared to your friends or any person right here and the final thing I want to share with you which is in this Mac OS Monterey Beta 2 is when you try to search for anything right here in the spotlight search you can now see that this is now a bit deeper than initially because first you're gonna see it's a bit gray but now it's a bit deep and kind of bolder than initially so 
this is just some few changes apple has brought to us in this mac os monterey beta 2 and i hope they do a lot of cool stuff right here which is going to help us or make the use of this macbook or this os very very comfortable and there are some glitches i've seen already in this mac os and this is the forecast and then with the clock and also the forecast so some of the widgets actually are not working at the moment and i don't even know why this is happening and i think maybe apple is supposed to just watch this and then maybe they're going to make it work because if i tap on it like this is not going to open nothing nothing opens when i just tap on them and i feel it's a glitch and when i just tap on this calendar it's going to open meaning the other ones are not really working and it's a bug which needs to be fixed and again one problem i faced was with airdrop when i tried sending something it was refusing to send i was having a lot of tough time trying to send something with airdrop and it had to take about 12 hours for it to just start working again and it just goes off and it doesn't work anymore so i think maybe apple is supposed to just check this out too if you are facing any problems like that so you can just link it up in the comment section and probably who knows apple might be watching and then they might just listen to us so if this video was very helpful just give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and without further ado i'm just gonna catch you in the next video peace